in our lesson grade six seven all the way up to grade nine i want us to look at factors that do undermine peace what are some of those factors that undermine peace one political incitement especially by political leaders promotes hatred among communities two Religious differences among various sects, e.g. Christians versus Muslims, whatsoever. Three, unemployment which results to poverty, and then poverty leads to people to commit crimes. And then number four, land disputes leads to quarrels and fights. Five, unequal distribution of national resources. And then six, Poor leadership, e.g., when there is corruption, oppression of people, nepotism, all these undermine peace. And the other one is racial discrimination against certain people. And lastly, but not least, lack of tolerance and patience with each other can also resort to fighting in a society. Now, let us look hard. The importance of peace. Importance of peace in a country or in a society. One, people conduct their business without fear. Two, citizens attain fast economic and the social development within a very uh, short time. Three, tourists are attracted to the country as boosting what we are what we call foreign exchange and the other one is when there is peace it attracts foreign investors to come and invest in our country and also where then there is peace peace enhances political stability peace once more uh, the government when there is peace the government of the day is able to initiate development projects which do help the people uh, in the land. And also, uh, peace promotes a sense of belonging, and then also people be, feel that now they, are, they belong to one another, and there's a lot of patriotism. And lastly, but not least, citizens do live in Amun. Those are some of them. But of course, there are so many of them, but I've just touched a few of them, so that we, as people of Kenya, we can live as one. Thank you. Till next time.